Hi there! In this tutorial we're going to learn about image labels in Roblox. To add an image label, you're going to go to your starter GUI, click on the plus sign, select screen GUI, and then go to your screen GUI, click on the plus sign, and select image label. Immediately you see your image label appearing in the left upper left corner of your screen. It's very similar to the text labels. So if you're not familiar with text labels, you can refer to our prior tutorials on text labels. Now I can just go and drag my image to wherever I want to place it. And I can resize the image just by dragging the, the little boxes. Same as the text label. To add an image to this image label, just make sure your image label is selected. Go to the properties window and go down to the section, the image section, and you see an image property there. If you click on it, well first, let's let's go to our toolbox. We, we need to get an image first. So let's go to home, click on toolbox, and you can get your image from either from the marketplace, just select images, and you can select any of these images. So for example, if I pick the happy face here, I'm going to right click, copy asset ID, and then I go here and I'm going to paste it in here. Control V to paste, hit enter, and there you go. The image has been imported into your image label. To change the image, again, you're going to go to your toolbox. So now I'm going to pick a different image. I'm going to my, my creation right now. So these are going to be the images that I have uploaded, and I'm going to select my own image, copy asset ID. So I'm going to go back to the same place where I, I paste in the image ID before, the image property, and I'm going to paste in the new asset ID. Hit enter. And now it has been changed to the new image that I've selected. Now if you want to upload your own image into your image label, what you need to do is you need to publish your game first. So go to File, Publish to Roblox and just give it a name. I'm just gonna call mine test009. You can enter a description if you like, and you can turn off team create if you're not working with a, in a team, and then just click on create. That is just the, the regular procedure to upload, to publish your game. So I'm gonna go back to my screen GUI. I'm gonna add another image label. So I'm gonna click the plus sign, select image label, and again, you see an image label appearing here. I can, let me let me close this toolbox. I, I need more space here. So I'm gonna drag it over here, let's say. And then I'm gonna resize it. If you wanna upload your own image to this image label, what you're gonna do is you're gonna select that image label and then go to the properties window, go to image, property, same place that you entered the, the image before for this one, you're going to click on it and you immediately you see a little window pop up now. The reason we didn't have the window before is because the game was not published. So once you publish the game to Roblox, whenever you click on that, that um, image property, you're going to get this little window pop up. So now you can either add an image by clicking this plus sign here to add an image. You can choose a file from your PC and then you click create. It's going to upload to, to Roblox for you. Or in this case, I'm not going to upload an, an image, but I'm going to select another image from my toolbox. So I'm going to go to my toolbox and I'm going to select this image fire image, this fire image. So I'm going to right click and copy asset ID. Again, I'm going to come back to this image property, click on it. So I'm just going to paste in the asset ID from the images fire that I have selected. Hit enter. And there it is. Now I have uh, two different images, the cloud and the fire. 
let me close this toolbox here and I'm gonna go and rename my image label so this one is gonna be fire and this one is gonna be cloud let's now select the fire image and let's go to the properties window here you can rotate your images by by entering a number of degrees into the rotation for example if I want to rotate it 30 degrees I can do this and you see my fire image is on top of my cloud Im image right now if I want to bring the uh, cloud image to be on top of the fire image what I need to do is I'm gonna go to the cloud image and I need to search for the Z index and then I'm gonna change that Z index value so if I change this to 5 now it's on top of the, the fire now I go back to the fire if I, I make this say like 4 right if I make it 4 it's still gonna be underneath the, far, the, the cloud but if I make it 6 it's gonna be above the cloud now if I change the Z index to 6 now it's on top of the cloud all right let's add one more image so we're going to go back to the screen gui we're going to click on the plus sign again and we're going to select another image label i'm going to drag this one to be right at the center of the cloud and let me go and get an image for that so i'm going to go back to my toolbox i'll, I'll get this button right here this red button so right click copy asset id and then I'm going back to my image label that I've just added. Go to, again, the image section. And I'm going to right-click and paste it in. Hit enter. And remember, the default is the, the default Z index is 1. And that's why we don't see the image right now. So if you want to see it, you got to change the, the Z index. So I, I believe the cloud is 5. If I make this 10, it's definitely going to go on top of the cloud. And there it is. Let me close this toolbox right now. You can see this button image that I have added here has a background. If you do not want to see the background, you can go to the property, the background pop property, the, the background transparency property. And then instead of 0, you can make that 1. And now it's gone. Now I'm going back to the fire image. As I scroll down, you're going to see all these properties like the anchor point, the background color. You know, they're, they're all the same as the, the text labels. You got the size, the, the uh, rotation, the position. And here you have the visible. Again, with this visible property, you can turn on and off the image. So now the image is gone from your game. If you turn it on, it's back in your game. So that's the property that you can use script to turn on and off your, your images in your games. One interesting property here is the, um, the color, the image color property. You can change the color of your images. So if I come, I click on it and say if I select blue, click OK. So now I have a photo of a blue fire. If you click on your screen GUI again, we're going to add another image label. Let me just bring it in here and resize it. And now I'm going to need to change the Z index because I want to see this new image that I have just added. So let me make it 20. I'm going to go to my toolbox again now. I'm going to add another image to it. I'm going to pick the same image here. So it's going to be the cloud image. Copy asset ID. Go back to this one, go to the image property, and I'm gonna paste it in. Let me close this one. Now there is a property called scale type. So the, the uh, default is stretch. If I change this to tall, and then I go to the tall size, I change the X and Y values here. I change the scale so instead of one which is the default 
I'm going to change it to 0 0.05 for the X and 0 0.05 for the Y scale. And, and there it is. I have created a, a, some kind of a texture for my image. If you want, you can drag it to stretch it to cover the screen. And then I'm just going to go and turn the Z index property down put it back to one, hit enter. So now all the other images goes on top of it. And if you want to add image labels to, to your parts, the procedure is pretty much the same. First, you're going to add a part to your game, and then you're going to resize your part. And now you're going to go to your part, you're going to add a surface GUI. From here, you're going to add the image label and immediately you don't see the image label on your part so what you need to do is you need to go to your surface GUI and play around with the facing here the face so right now I'm facing the back is facing the front I want to switch this to back and there it is the image label has appeared in the upper left corner of my part I'm gonna click on the image label now look for the size property and I'm going to change it to cover the entire uh, the entire part. So I want to make the scale 1. And I'm going to change the offset to 0. Hit enter. S same thing for the Y. Scale to 1. Offset to 0. And now it covers the entire part. Go to the toolbox. I'm going to copy the asset ID of the image. I want to load into it and go back to my image label and I'm gonna enter that into the image property. And there it is. Now we're gonna add one more image to it. So I'm gonna go back to my surface GUI. I'm gonna click on the plus sign, add an image label, right click copy asset of the fire, click on the image, go back to the image property Paste it in. All right, so from here, you can just resize your image and reposition your image to anywhere you like. Again, you can refer to the uh, prior tutorial on text labels and surface GUI for more details. Now, if I play and go into the game, there it is. You see the part with the image on it, and then there's another image on top of that image. And you can throw as many images you like as you like onto the surface GUI. And you can rotate them, reposition them to any way you like. Okay everyone, that's our lesson for today. And this is how you use image labels in Roblox.